The Lemmings had already conquered Europe, but what would the rest of the world think of them? Find out tonight on Lemmings Behind the Game. We were selling out everywhere, but I think we all had our eye on bigger things. The story I was told was that an air hostess had given the game to a top US talk show host. He set up a slot on his show inviting members of the audience to play, and Shazam! Next thing you know, America is going Lemmings balmy. F***ing crazy! <laughs> we were flying to New York and we were getting reports from the airport saying that there were 2,000 people waiting. The pilot told me that 5,000 people had gathered at JFK to welcome the lads. They say 10,000 people showed up that day. Told me it were 20. Some people say you're all bald and that you wear wigs. I'm bald. So am I. We're all bald. But please don't tell anyone, will you? Are you ever going to get haircut? No. No. Never. I had one yesterday. America took the lemmings to their hearts, with each game they released becoming more successful than the last. I think at one point we occupied the number one spot, second, third, fourth and fifth spot of the gaming top ten. But something would happen that would bring the success crashing down to earth. Harold had given an interview a few months earlier to a British journalist saying that with all the success we'd experienced, we were now bigger than <gasps> Mickey Mouse. I wasn't saying we were bigger or better or comparing us to Mickey Mouse in any way, shape or form. I just said what I said and now all this has happened. I'm really sorry. Is really sorry. But the apology had arrived too late, and the backlash had begun. Game-burning rallies were organized, and thousands flocked to burn Lemmings games in protest. We tried desperately to press ahead and play more shows, and hopefully ride the storm out. But I think the damage had been done. As the Lemmings tried frantically to put Harold's devastating statement behind them, things would turn from bad to worse. A stage stunt that had been performed hundreds of times before went horribly wrong. We were on stage and one of the background bomber lemmings, who was fairly new to the act, had gotten a little overzealous. I think he wanted to impress everyone. He was young, with a lot of energy, and he didn't take into account how dangerous the whole act could be. Maybe he wanted to show off. I don't know. He was a good kid. Well, it was devastating. Devastating. Yeah. <laughs> Someone died. It was the final nail in the coffin for the group. The pressures of fame had taken its toll, and the lemmings split up. The group that had once dined with royalty and dated movie stars were loved no more. To add insult to injury, all the millions that had been earned was no more, wasted away in bad business deals. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to all the money, as it goes. Well, it was a terrible time. I blamed everybody else for the breakup, apart from myself. I think inside Harold was really hurting. Well, we all secretly knew it wouldn't last forever. The dream was over. The dream was over. They say the light that shines twice as bright burns half as long. But we split up. And so, the lemmings disappeared. During this time, they would all do things they were ashamed of as they desperately tried to make ends meet. <laughs> so when PlayStation approached them with the idea of reforming, the offer was met with mixed emotions. Obviously, we hadn't spoken for many years. I was worried that the magic wouldn't be there anymore. We had such a good ride with the lemmings. If it couldn't be as good as, or better than last time, I weren't interested. We had a legacy to protect. So we tentatively got back together for one practice game, just to test the water. And it was as good as it had ever been. Better, in fact. It was... cool. Things have moved on so much from when we first started. The PSP was ideal for our antics. This time it's faster, bigger, and even crazier. It rocks! 
To the delight of fans, the Lemmings are back in business, kicking up a storm on the PSP. As well as the original levels we all remember so well, there's plenty of new action, including a great level editor to help build a new world. And to ensure no corner of the earth misses out on the reunion of the century, this time around they're offering their simple, addictive play to the online community. We look better. We are definitely funnier. <laughs> And we're on the PSP, champion. I told you to sell some fucking merchandise.